a basically like new cruiser travel trailer here just came in on trade here at Haylet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And I'm willing to bet you've never seen one with a living room laid out like this because I've never seen one laid out uh, like this and I see trailers every single day. I mean, obviously this is unusual. You've got a full residential four cushion uh, napping couch. I mean, there's no other word for it. That's a napping couch. You want to slip in here during the middle of the day and, and clock out for a little bit. That's the place to do it. Now you notice you've got two little different sections right here. That's because this is a full height of bed and this is the addition to so that it fills out the slide. It's very cool stuff. Um, you'll notice that you have night shades throughout. Your side windows open. Um, your overhead windows have this cool glass insert and they have handy struts to keep them open. A lot of manufacturers are starting to cut corners and take things like that out. Problem is without those struts, that door is going to want to constantly fall on you and it's just a pain to use. Uh, now one of the things that makes this living room seem so big and airy is the refrigerator and the pantry are located in the slide out. Um, it gets all that, you know, I mean you see how deep these are. It gets all of that space off the floor and it gives you this big, open, expansive feeling. When I step back here, you, you just say, holy cow, that's just a big living room, and it's only a single slide. Um, the other thing, if you look at the ceiling right here, look at how much space there is above the slide to the ceiling, and see how it gets much, much shorter over there. That's one of the really cool signature things on these cruiser travel trailers. They have what's called a north-south sweep. Most trailers are... Uh, have an arched roof. The, the roof bows front uh, side to side. This one also bows front to back. It does both. Now what's cool is that makes it really tall up here, especially right there in the bathroom. It's an awesome feature. A um, couple other things to point out here that really caught my attention. The uh, solid surface countertops, that's super cool. I like the fact that the uh, stove top cover is basically countertop flush. It gives you so much more space. And a good example to see what you're getting here, this is what your countertops are made out of. It's not for mica with just like a little, you know, candy coated shell. Uh, I call that M&M construction, you know, candy coated shell with soft stuff underneath. This is legitimate. Uh, you know, all of your drawers are real wood, full extension. You don't see press board with a wrap. You see real plywood. The uh, uh, angled entertainment center, I've always been a fan of a side angle entertainment center because you can sit anywhere here in the living room and have a perfect view of it. Like, here's the view just hanging out on your couch. You just, you just want to look down and put your foot up and just sort of hang out for a while. You know, you can look over at the folks over here at the table playing cards. And how cool is this? A residential dining table. It's just awesome. Plus... This has the same big, big window that a rear living room has. The only difference is, with this window, you're looking out here toward your fireplace and your campsite instead of at the back of the neighbor's trailer. Um, moving forward here, again, I mentioned that north-south sweep adds so much more headroom to the shower. And maybe doesn't translate well to video here, but I'm going to try something I've never tried before. I'm about 6'3". I'm going to step right here into the shower. And uh, there's all this extra room above my head. Hopefully that's coming into frame. I have no idea what this is looking like. Anyway, um, other little things I always point out on these cruisers is they have a deeper medicine cabinet. They're just Even their medicine cabinet has deeper shelving. It's very cool. I did spot detail work like this. The countertops in the bathroom match those in the uh, kitchen. To me, that's a big deal. I see a lot of people We'll skimp back to that M&M construction here that I mentioned and, and not use your solid hard surface countertops right there. Now this is very neat. Your fan right here has this awesome little thermostat control thing. You can control the air direction in or out. Very slick stuff. Um, the beds in this, this is a true 80 inch queen bed. One, that's very awesome. Two. Uh, you see that we have an accent color wall up here with that nice little almost inlay pattern on it. It gives it a very good feeling of depth. It makes this bedroom feel a lot larger. Plus, again, if you notice, that front to back sweep is still adding quite a bit of extra space in here. Now, this is the second slide. This is purely storage. This whole thing is uh, just an extra wardrobe slide 
that gives you a good 12 to 15 inches of extra storage that normally you simply would not have up here. And what's awesome is, instead of a whole bed slide, when they do that, it cuts down on so much of the weight, but you keep all the storage. There's so many really cool things going on here. Like, I haven't even shown you the lamination they're using on the exterior yet, and I'm already running over time. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hale it Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan.